loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, what exactly are these things you're sending me after? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Uh, fine. your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster or farther away. Got one, Kinsey. Is it safe to touch? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. Kinsey, sing along. No, I don't think so. Come on, please, Kinsey. You could be the cat. It's not gonna happen. We come together. Come on, your turn, Kinsey. And you know it ain't fiction. No. Kinsey, you're gonna sing for your commander-in-chief. Fuck that. That could have been a real bonding experience. She makes the bed. And he steals the I can't cup. believe I had a data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. I'm afraid to ask, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Okay. That actually made some kind of sense. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope. You lost me again. Ugh. 
It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. See, that's all you needed to say. some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data clumps... Ugh. Clusters. Okay, clusters. If they're so useful, why aren't Zinyak's people scooping them up? Why would they need them? To make his people stronger or something? Look, you're the one who said they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! But if he just leaves them lying around, then... Eh, never mind. I'll just accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Zinyak destroyed my apartment? Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Just wish I could have saved my shoes. This should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. Okay, what do I do now? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? jump up that. Try pushing off from the wall each jump. So I can climb walls now? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Yeah, that's what I said. Whoa! <laughs> this time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be joking. Just try it. Nice. <laughs> but I wanna go bigger with this. Good. Cause I found a race subroutine already in the city. Let's do it. See? You did it! I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck. Should I be worried about who set this race up? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district reality matrix will overload a little. Oh, uh, one more time, Kinsey? <sighs> it means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Yeah, that actually makes sense. It did the first time you said it, too. Keep saying shit that I understand, and I'll buy you a pony. Lies.
food. I really can't afford another speeding ticket. 